Hello and welcome back and in today's video we are gonna do repetitions. So uh, this is the problem. So I hope uh, the problems missing number and weird algorithm were very clear to you. So now the level has increased in this we have to think a bit about the problem in this and what we have to do in this problem is we will be given a string and it says the string uh, can only contain a c g and d or if it even contains more letters then the algorithm will still remain the same so what we have to do is we have to find out the longest substring okay yeah longest substring inside the string so we have a t t g a t t c g g g a so basically what is the uh, longest length in which all the letters are same so clearly g g g is the longest one where so our output is 3 so uh, what we have to do is we have to learn the difference between string uh, substring and subsequence so for that let's google it substring versus subsequence so let's check this out so substring is a a substring is a contiguous sequence of characters within a string where order matters so uh, if our string is substring then our answer will be a, I, I can either be string ring sub or anything but it has to be continuous and in order but what a subsequence means is that any of the character but in sequence so for substring you can be u s r g anything but it has to be in sequence it does not have to be continuous so that is the difference between substring and subsequence so so basically that is so that is the difference and what we have to do is find out the longest substring so for this problem what we will do is let me uncomment this first and we will first take string as our input so uh, there is a difference between string and character and string is a stl so you can go ahead and check it out on geeks for geeks about string everything the most important uh, iterator that you should know is s dot length that will give us the length of the string and how we declare the string so we declare it by writing string and a number and i mean a variable and after that we can take it as an input using c in and uh, s dot length will give us the length of the string so these are the basic things that you should know about a string these are really basic and you should know these so if you are confused about stl or anything then uh, go through it in geeks for geeks solve many questions as you solve the questions you will get confident about them as well after that what i did was i took a count and an answer and then I iterated inside a loop. So inside the loop, what I basically did. So uh, what I want to do is, so we have a t t g a t t c g g g a. So I will take one pointer at a and another pointer at t, and I will compare both of them. If both of them are equal, that means we have a substring that uh, has a length more than one. And initially, it is one because if there is nothing more than one character, if there is only one character for each then that means that our longest substring has to be of length 1. So we start with 1. So uh, a and t are not equal. That means what we have to do is count will still remain 1. And then at the end what we do is inside the answer is what uh, it will contain our answer, the final answer. So for that we will take the max of answer and count because count can change but answer will uh, hold the longest substring. So a and t are not equal. So in the next iteration what we do is we increment both of them by 1. So we have the next pointer at t and another pointer at t. So i and i minus 1. And then we again check t and t are equal. That means our count will increment. So it will become 2 now. So our answer will take the max and it will become 2. Again it will go to c. t and c are again not equal. So count will again become 1 and answer will remain 2. So similarly we'll have g. In g, g, g it will become 3 and the answer will become 3 and then at the end uh, it will go up to the length of the string and after that the loop will end and c out will be done. So our answer will be printed on the string screen which is 3. 
So if I build it, control plus B, see it's finished and our answer is 3 and that is what our answer was. So let's comment these lines and let's submit. So I always forget to do that. So that's why I have two uh, submissions that were incorrect because I forgot to do that and in one uh, the mistake that I did in one of them was that uh, I had forgot to use this line else count is equal to one. So that's why one of my submission was wrong. Again, we have wrong submission. What did I do wrong? I didn't save it. Okay, we have to take care of this. Comment this and save it also. So again, I have a wrong submission. Don't do such blunders, guys and then submit okay it's accepted so what i was telling the first time what i did was i didn't write this line so it was wrong so keep in mind you have everything in mind but you forget to do it or you just cannot do it in code so that's not what we want to do let's practice a lot and become confident enough and write the correct solutions at once so i hope this was clear this is accepted and after this, we will go ahead with the next question. If you have any doubt, then please leave it down in the comment section. We will be more than happy to answer them. And if you have any ways to do these questions better than what I did, then please leave it down in the comment section. It will be a great help for everyone and also me. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you liked this and if you like other content that we post. And we will see you again in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.